Yo, 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 welcome back everybody to the channel. It's your boy Johnny Quest. That's right, another unboxing video. This time, I know I'm a little late to the party, but I had to go ahead and do it. The She Spawn unboxing. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, She Spawn from the Todd McFarlane Spawn series. Here she is. Let's do it. Let's get into it. But first, let's kick that intro. Emotional damage. so we're back guys thank you for joining me again um like i said this is a unboxing of she spawn from the todd mcfairlane series you know todd has went back to his roots and came out with some new spawn um figures which are completely amazing we have such things as gunslinger spawn we have the violator we have the clown we have the redeemer and right now we have she spawn i haven't picked up cygor not yet i'm thinking about it it's kind of funny it's a really big figure so i think that's pretty cool uh but she spawn i had to have i saw the pictures of it and i was like man this is the spawn figure for me i gotta have the spawn figure so here we go as you can see amazing box art by talk mcfairlane not any other promo shots showing the other things in the line it's kind of unique with this but it does show some of the highlights as you can see her weapons on the back she has 22 moving articulate parts a long way away from spawn's classic figures as you remember a lot of those were really really nice nice paint decos on them but unfortunately they were a bit of a statue so if you like that statue look then that's great me personally i'm all about articulation i'm a bit of an articulation buff so i'm super happy about these especially with having 22 points of articulation so as you rotate around like i said you got that nice box art you got the um varnish there of spawn and then up under there you got she spawn she spawn i think was a couple different people um this one in particular is jessica priest with the red hair if you don't remember her uh she was one of the soldiers that worked up under terry fitzgerald i think recently they just re um did spawn's origin and said instead of chapel killing him that she spawn jessica priest was the person that killed him but i'm not exactly sure i got to go back and read that so guys as this spins around let's take a look at this box shall we it's colors all around just come out so far man they're really bright and vibrant got a little bit of the figure art back there and of course we got showing off some of the weapons and some of those shout outs as you can see follow Todd McFarlane on his various different social uh, media channels as always subscribe to Johnny Quest as well hit that subscribe button hit that like button really appreciate it keep the channel going so please do that but other than that we got some art uh just Right now, C Spawn is being featured in the Scourge series, which is a really pretty much like the A Team version or the A Team Spawn, rather. You've got her teamed up with Gunslinger, Redeemer, Medieval Spawn, and of course King Spawn. So hopefully, those figures will be able to unbox on the channel. I see a lot of people are getting their uh, King Spawn in now, so hopefully, I'll be getting that soon. But guys, let's go ahead and get her out the box so we can see exactly what we're working with. So there she is, fresh out of the box in her plastic prison. As you can see, this is a deluxe figure. So not only did it come with amazing she spawn, you've got tons and tons of weapons as well as some hand accessories in there. So kudos to, to Todd McFarlane for doing that. So let's take a look at this figure here. We've got some spawn guns. And I say they're spawn guns because only Todd McFarlane can make guns that look like this. You've got all kinds of things thrown in here, guys. You've got taped up magazines. This looks like an AK-47 with multiple laser pointers and other magazine cartridges put together. Then right here, man, this is, I guess this is an M44 sniper rifle, but it's just all kinds of things mixed in together. Then she's got that bayonet with the knuckle duster on the front. And then, of course, this gun right here. This right here, man, that looks like something that you would just straight destroy the entire block with. I mean, look at that. It's just all over the place. And, of course, this right here goes back to some of the classic um, she spawn figures from the original Todd McFarlane series. Uh, whatever that weapon is, I think it's like an axe with, like, maybe a ball on the back of it with spikes. I don't know. It's Todd McFarlane. You know, his stuff, he can come up with some weapons. It's outlandish, which I love. That's why I was the biggest fan of spawn back in the day because of all that over the top is the top mcfarlane brought so other than that she's got extra hand in there so you're probably asking yourself 
Why are those other figures in the back? Well, I don't have a lot of female characters for Spawn. So I just whipped out some of the stuff that I actually have, which is Angela. Um, I love Angela. I uh, would hope this series... Well, actually, he lost the rights to her. So we won't see Angela probably in the Spawn series. But again, here goes Angela right there. Um, it's kind of some representation of actual female characters that have graced the Spawn universe. And then I have the Goddess. And as you can see, Goddess... She actually has that same staff type thing that Todd McFarlane gave to She Spawn. So that's it right there. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and get her out the box and let's see her accessories so we can see exactly what She Spawn is all about. All right, so fresh out the box. Here we go, guys. Let's take a look at some of the accessories, first of all. So, as I said before, man, these are some funky guns. Like, look at that. You got the scope on there. You've got those two magazines taped together. You've got, it looks like a. Uh, scope i mean a handle here in the front you got your scope on the back very nicely detailed the details on these are great pretty good paint application not a whole bunch of finesse on it but i mean for what you're getting for the price you're paying this is really really good i mean todd mcfarlane isn't able to do guns with the wb or warner brothers stuff right now but it's okay because he's definitely making up for it on his spawn so if you got other figures that you want to go back and um make some Add some guns to it. Hey, she spawns the one to do it. Even if you don't want to pick up she spawn, pick it up for the guns. Look at that. So let's take a look here. This is her sniper rifle. She actually uses this in a comic, which I think is really cool. Um, this thing right here, dude, this would probably take down Cygor or the Violator. Anything else that you want to mess with. Like, this is normally a gun I think you have to hold and sit down with or something like that. It puts out pretty high caliber bullets from what I can remember. But this is hers and it looks like it's on steroids look at that man look at all those different scopes on the side um then you've got that really great detail barrel um there, like there was no expense taken when it was making these guns like these guys whoever crafted these they wanted something to look great and of course i'm sure tom mcfarlane definitely had a hand in designing these because it's just great detail um right down to the stock or the shoulder rest really really good um so let's take a look at the melee weapons so we've got the knife here these are pretty good plastic i wish actually a lot of toys would make plastic like this because it's not too rigid and it's not too soft so you get kind of like the best of both worlds and you get that in focus but look at that detail on that thing you've got the knuckle duster here which is detailed if it'll focus come on focus for me um, so you got the knuckle duster there, which is detailed. You got like a spike bottom of that. So not only can she punch you in the face with it, she can stab you in the top of the head, which would really not be good for you. Um, on the side here, you got that skull or ram design, and that pretty much carries all the way through. Looks like it's holding it, like it's in its mouth. And then of course, the way this is designed, you've got kind of like that bayonet, and it's got some worn edges in there. So this is a lot of people have seen the business end of this, if you know what I mean. So let's take a look at the big axe mace uh, type weapon. I'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to be. But again, like I said, it's Tom McFarlane. You know what I mean, he takes a vacuum cleaner and turns it into like a grinder of death. So, you know, <laughs> you never know what you're going to get here. But look at that. That, like I said, is reminiscent to the original uh, She Spawn at that time. I don't have any figures from there. If you guys want to check out some reviews, I think Toy Shiz had one up in um, maybe Man Cave Collectibles. I can't remember, but uh, check out those guys if you want to see what this figure comes from. This does come from or is kind of in the reminiscence of the original um, She Spawn figure. So that's that. So let's move on to the main star of the attraction, the person who we're all here for. Oh, one more. Sorry. We got one more gun. So this gun right here. Is probably my favorite one. Now, this part, I don't like the barrel. You can heat that up, though, and that'll make it go back to normal. But look at that detail on that, man. And it also comes with that chain. That's not something extra that Johnny Quest added on. Because, you know, I am a chain freak. I love my chains on my weapons uh, or on my characters, as you can see with that customized Lobo in the background there. But uh, this gun came like this. It just adds to just extra sense of detail. Just that, that kiss on the end of it that makes it look just all the way amazing guys and look at that but look at the detail you got the bullets there they're all painted so uh great paint apps on this thing it's you know you pay a little bit more for the figures and with the way inflation goes you want to get the most out of your 
toys and you want to get the most out of those molds i know those guys want to save some money with their molds and get their money worth out of them but you know paint apps is important and they actually did the job on there so let's look at miss jessica priest here so great 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 figure all around i mean the hair it might seem like one of those things like medusa um that figure that came out but this is just well executed man the hair has got the wispiness to it the curls it's got a little bit of play to a little pliability so it's not just a hard rigid piece of plastic it's actually got some nice flow to it so you can bend it around it's not just something that's gonna seem like it's oh my goodness why did i buy this with this horrible hair but no this thing is great she can still get a little posability and we'll go into that later um but look at that the face on there is painted well really no blemishes on the face she's got her skulls right here great she's got texture on that leather i guess it's a leather jacket um more spikes here she's got the bandolier across here um with the bullets colored as well she's got the spikes on the back of the arm uh that go straight through all those are painted uh her hand here if it'll focus her hand has the same type of knuckle duster on there with the spikes and all those are painted um then of course her costume she's got that same you see all the time spawn v in the front there she's got a belt this belt is not a chain it would be kind of cool if they made a chain but i guess it's not necessary uh but this is like a rubber material kind of like what you get with all the other spawns and then she's got the belt pouch spikes you know todd is all about his spikes and then look at the asymmetry here so we've got her costume with the boot she's got the one small boot the one big boot uh, this goes up thigh high, really, really nicely detailed. She's got the spikes again that comes down. Uh, so she's got that whole spike motif. And then she's wearing the, the typical biker boots, the short biker boots or the anklets that you would call them. And then, of course, it's got that same spike thing. But each one of those studs on there is still individually painted. So, again, they they definitely take their times with the paint apps on these. That was the big thing about the other figures. They were more statues that weren't posable. But, you know, a lot of people dealt with, on, of course, the chain here really really nice skull here i wish that maybe the eyes were painted green i can't remember on the comic if it is i have to take a look at it and see but still just really great really great detail for all you customizers out there um including myself if you want to cut this off and put a metal chain on or a metal chain here you could do that that's completely up to you i'm sure it's going to look good regardless of how you do it but um so let's go into the scope itself the scope um there's her spawn booty but the scope is really really great because you've got tons of detail in the face this face looks just like the comic just like she stepped right out of the comic you've got the outfit that is perfectly molded like i said this looks like it just walked straight out of the comic book um everything is detailed very nice her legs are very very proportioned the body is proportioned really well she is a little bit taller than some other figures now compared to and then man when, when i say they didn't spare a detail on the scope look at that butt and this isn't like oh my god becky look at her butt i mean this is it's great i mean the sculpting on that so enough about that scope let's move around let's get into the actual articulation so great articulation on this figure this figure has of course she's got the double jointed elbows which is really great she can get all the way back there so some really dynamic poses there um even with this head scope um with that hair she still get a pretty good range of motion she can look up about that high she can look down let me get her curl out of the way look i got that in the way she can look down that far she can move the head um it will tilt um get some pretty good range but again you got that thick hair on there but like i said it's nice and pliable so you still don't have to worry about missing out on too much range so both sides um double jointed elbows um she can get a good t pose out of there so she's got that shoulder pad but that still is flexible to get out of the way um on the wrist here she has it'll turn 360 um no hinge joint in there um just a circle motion here she seems like she would have a whole lot of ab crunch but not too much it will go back that far there is a piece here at the top and then there is one kind of like the bottom is a little tight um as far as the splits go even though she's got that belt there she's got that good range there um and then you see that ratchet joint in there so really good on that um double jointed knees and the knees aren't too bad looking um she can get all the way back there and it's supposed to say she can kick her own butt um <clears throat> she can 
kick out about that far. Um, she can move back that far. And then on the foot here, there's a little bit of ankle articulation. Um, move left and right, and it will tilt just a little bit. And then she's got that boot articulation. And finally, guys, before closing, here's a little bit of some comparison between the two. As you can see, that she spawn is a really tall figure um, standing next to our Rebirth Superman in black in our Mortal Kombat 11 spawn. Um, she's got a pretty good height on her. A little hard to stand with those heels, but for the most part, you can kind of fudge it there. That Superman, like I said, if you those guns that she come with, even if you don't use she spawn, uh, the weapons that she comes with is definitely worth it. You can repurpose that for, say, like your spawn figure and like this case I did with the Autonomy Fairlane spawn so you can use that for a lot of different things guys um again this is a really great figure um hope you guys check it out and again guys if you like my content please like and subscribe uh again i got a lot of videos gonna keep trying to get them coming out you know some of the time it have been a little bit hard to get out than others due to just some life issues but other than that i'm gonna try to get these pumped out as soon as possible i got that uh turtle van premiere for you guys so you can see that from the underground arsenal hopefully going to be getting that on the channel soon as well as the diorama from NECA. so we got a lot of great content guys hope you guys will check it out like i said like and subscribe tell a friend and have that friend tell a friend and as always guys thank you for coming back and remember toys is the next adventure guys i'll see you later